Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is the nucleic acid. Uh, before we start nucleic acid, have you ever wondered why our faces are similar to our parents? Because if you see this kid, this kid's face is similar to his dad. Right? If you see here, this kid has got hair from his dad, this kid has got hair from his mother. Uh, their nose are this has similar nose and these people have similar nose yeah right so they generally get uh, all these features from their parents why because of the nucleic acids right we'll talk about nucleic acids this is all because of the nucleic acid this happens so it has been seen that the nucleus of the cell this is the cell, the nucleus of the cell is responsible for transmission of inherent character or heredity. Right? So the nucleus of the cell is responsible, this guy. So if you go deep into this, in nucleus of the cell, there is something called chromosome. It has been observed that this chromosome is responsible for heredity. Correct. Now this chromosome is made of proteins and a different kind of biomolecules called nucleic acid. Now the question is why it is called nucleic acid? The answer is pretty easy. Any guess? Because the nucleic acid were found in nucleus of the cell. They are found in nucleus of cell. Since they are found in nucleus of the cell, they are called nucleic acid. Correct? So this heredity is because of nucleus, inside nucleus chromosome and chromosome is made of proteins and nucleic acid. Right? So what are nucleic acids? They are, they are long chain polymer of nucleotides. Nucleotides. We will study about nucleotides later. They are long chain polymer of nucleotides right so if you see and that's why since they are long chain polymer of nucleotides they are also called polynucleotides right this is how uh, DNA looks like a nucleic acid looks like see this is pretty complex to understand so what scientists told okay let's break this into smaller part and we'll understand as we did for protein. Protein was a little complex to understand, so they broke the protein into smaller parts and then we understood protein. Similar will do for nucleic acids. There are two types of nucleic acids. One is called DNA deoxyribose nucleic acid. Deoxyribose nucleic acid. The other is RNA that is ribose nucleic acid. So we'll discuss both these in detail. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.